Sharing His Nanny by Tori Chase is a why choose romance and this is my book review in five minutes or less. A billionaire, a lawyer, and a personal trainer walk into a Malibu beach house with a four month old baby and no idea what to do. Sounds like a story you've heard before, right? And a curvy nanny they can't keep their hands off and a summer vacation goes from sunny to scorching. Stella. I'm an up-and-coming plus-size designer who gets strong-armed into playing nanny for a month so I'll have enough money to put my fashion line into production. Sounds like an easy plan. Only the dad of that baby is my first crush. The star of my late night fantasies beneath the sheets, the guy who never noticed I was alive, Charles Harlow, older, rich as sin, sex on a stick, and my stepbrother. I can handle this. One month caring for an adorable baby and my money troubles will be solved. It's living with three chiseled alphas that might be my downfall, especially when innocent flirting with Jordan and Alex turns into nights of pleasure at their rough hands. All while my employer, my stepbrother, watches us with the look of a predator. He's hungry for me too, but keeps his distance. I'm the nanny, the hired help the forbidden little sister. <laughs> the longer Charles resists, the more explosive it will be when we give in to our taboo desires. One month, I'll have my money to launch my fashion design and we'll all go back to our lives, lives as if none of this ever happened, right? Okay, let me say up front, I normally <laughs> would be so grossed out by this whole stepbrother, stepsister thing, except he's 15 years older than her and they never lived together. They never lived in the same house. They never hung out. They never saw each other. They had no relationship whatsoever until this book. So that made it not creepy. <laughs> the tropes included uh, in this story are forced proximity. There's a lot of them. Sudden parents, workplace romance, stepbrother, why choose or reverse harem, curvy girl, a billionaire, dom sub, in other words, dominant, subordinate, uh, because there is some BDSM uh, play in here with one of the characters. I gave this story uh, just one more chapter uh, rating. Um, it was very good. It was very compelling. Uh, because there were really good backstories and there was some suspense actually as to not necessarily how the group dynamic was going to play out but there are there's a bigger story going on and I was interested to find out what would happen. The banter, uh, there's not a lot of banter. It's actually a fairly, they're actually fairly serious so it's not light-hearted. Uh, I gave it sitcom level because of that. Um, there's there's some playfulness but it's pretty hot and heavy side characters really only include the stepmother uh, Charles's mother um, there might be uh, oh she has an assistant but they didn't have a lot of uh, interaction with the main character so I give them only uh, neighborhood acquaintance the setting is his beach house I believe in Malibu and it sounds beautiful and there's a pool and pretty much anything you would want so I did give the setting buying a timeshare because they also have these gorgeous cars the whole thing sounds like the exact place you would want uh, why choose romance to take place the spice level I do give urban dictionary not just because it's a why choose romance but because there is also the BDSM uh, aspect of it. it it's not it's not I don't know how to put it. it I mean I found it in an acceptable level there were times that I was like mm, I wouldn't put up with that but and also because there is some male on male action which I enjoy but isn't everyone's cup of tea like this video if you found the review helpful I'm a big Tori Chase uh, fan and you'll see other reviews on this channel later so be sure to subscribe 
uh, so that you always know when I update the channel with new book reviews. I'm author Nancy Basile with Book Reviews in 5 Minutes or Less.